Hi and welcome back to another episode of Jim's Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about sinkers. And I come to the right place because you can look behind me, here's a whole rack full of sinkers. Now as a beginner fisherman, what you need to know is sinkers come in quite a few shapes and forms. Now as a beginner, if you're going after bluegill, these little split shot sinkers, what you need. So pack of sinkers, two bucks. And there's quite a few in there. Now the split shots go clear up to this this bigger weight, which there's ten of them in the package, and they're also two bucks. But as far as sinkers go, you got no rolls. The ones with the hole up the center, they go from one ounce all the way up to this <laughs> great big hunk of lead, eight ounce and every ounce in between and also egg sinkers now if you're doing suspended work this is what most of the guys are running and you're not supposed to know that but so eight ounce for suspended so you got one ounce to eight ounce and these are bank sinkers this is a one ounce now some of these you can get in a half ounce. I've seen half ounce bank sinkers before. And they go all the way up to eight ounce. So next uh, come across the pyramid sinker. And this is a three ounce pyramid and they can go from one ounce all the way up to eight ounce. That's a, if you get to eight ounces of lead that's and you're chunking some metal out in the water. Now, the next type of sinker is these coin sinkers. Now, I've seen some one ounce, which unfortunately here at the shop we're out of one ounce, but there's two ounce all the way up to eight ounce on coin sinkers. So, basically, it depends on what you're going after as far as fish is to what size weight and current if you got a stronger current and you're trying to hold in it you're going to need a heavier weight if you're fishing in a pond there's no current and you're going after a small species of fish you want to use a, a lighter weight so basically it just depends on the circumstances just remember the more force it takes to hold something down the heavier weight you're going to have to use so some other weights that you may come across are like these bottom bouncers. I don't know how good they're going to come up in the camera, but you got a sinker here and uh, a rig of wire that as it's going across, it bounces off the bottom. Now, there's weighted hooks that are called jigs which I've got too much stuff in my hands and it's just a hook that's got lead weight on them and they come in various different sizes shapes and weights depending on what you want to fish for now if you're fishing for crappie well if you've got a worm body you use these jig heads with a with a different color Crappie will go for this. Yes, sir. So, but some other sinkers that you may come across, these are bullet sinkers or slide sinkers. A lot of bass fishermen use this when they're running worms. So, I'm not a bass fisherman, so you'll have to go ask a bass fisherman how these work. But there's also sinkers that are, are crimp on. They've got a We'll get one out of the package here because these open and go back. But they have a groove in them and they have these tabs. And you can put the line in and then crimp it down. Oops. <laughs> you can crimp it by hand because I just did it. But that's another type of sinker. Now, as far as catfishing goes, if you're trolling, which I do a lot of, you got these dragon weights so you got a weight at the bottom and then a, a length 
and then a swivel top. So these bounce along the bottom as you're trolling and they come in several different shapes and sizes. You got nuts here. This is full of bird shot. This is another type of dragon wake with a swivel on the end of it. Then you've got shorter, smaller ones in a lighter weight. And you can even get clear down into here. You can still have a heavier weight, which uh, these feel like they're about three ounce, three and a half, four ounce, somewhere in there. Real short stubby with a swivel on top. So there's there's lots of lots of different ways that you can go about doing it. So it could be a little bit overwhelming, but the basic rule to remember is this. What am I fishing for today and how much weight do I actually need? So you don't need to be out there bluegill fishing with an 8 ounce egg roll sinker because chances are you're going to knock out more fish casting this than actually catching them. So, and if you're starting out, just small. Start out small. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jim's Outdoors and I uh, hope this video is helpful for you and uh, please like share and subscribe try to get the word out here there's a there's a lot of fishermen out there that are just getting into it that like to know a little bit so when they come into a bait store they're not totally overwhelmed so thanks for coming and remember get out there and catch some fish